Before I became a spiritual teacher and an author, I worked in marketing and event management for years. So I loved my corporate job. I loved my work. I liked the people I worked with, most of them, and I was paid very well. So there was really no reason to leave or to change. Um, of course, there were parts of it that I didn't enjoy. The parts where I was in an office all day, um, although I was fortunate because I worked in marketing and I was able to get out to meetings and to events. Um, other parts I didn't enjoy was the bureaucracy and the internal politics, but overall I was happy. But there was something that was calling to me. There was this inner voice, this deep inner knowingness. And I knew there was more for me to do. I knew that there was something else. There was something that would be more fulfilling, more um, just soul aligned. So I ignored that voice for a long time. I tried not to listen to it but the voice grew louder and eventually I knew it was time to listen and you know I'm not gonna lie it was scary because I didn't have a plan I didn't know if I could do it if it would work out I didn't know I didn't I didn't have any idea it was something that I decided that I had to do and I knew I had to do something so at the time, I was a qualified Reiki practitioner, and I remember the day that I decided that I'd start working a few hours, giving healings, taking on clients, while I was still working full-time in my corporate role. And at that time, there was a yoga center near where I lived, and I remember thinking, I should probably go in there and ask if they rent out rooms. And... I had the intention to go in, but I kept putting it off. I kept thinking, oh yeah, when I have the time, I'll go in and ask. And I kept driving past the yoga center and looking at the yoga center thinking, I should probably go in there. But I'd set that intention and intentions are powerful things. And I remember one day I had parked my, my car beside the yoga center and I was going to another shop that was down a bit from it. And I got out and I started walking. And as I was walking up to the door of the yoga center, there was a keypad at the time where you had to put in a code if you were a member of this yoga studio to get in. So as I was walking up to, and I wasn't intending to go in, I was just walking along the path intending to go to the next shop. Um, this breeze came up behind me. And just as the breeze came up, I arrived at the door, the door flung open and two students walked out with their yoga mat. And next thing I knew, I was inside the door walking up the stairs. And I remember thinking to myself, did that breeze just push me in the door? And I remember thinking there was something unusual about that. And remember I said to you, when you set intentions, when you have a clear intention to do something, the universe will support you. Um, so be prepared for it. And I arrived at reception and I asked the girl at reception if they had any rooms to rent out. And it just so happened that the person on reception that day was the owner. And she told me that they did have a room and they also had a Reiki practitioner who had just left. So they had a room that was free. If I wanted to, I could rent it, I could use it and I could offer my services. So that's where I started. But the, the funny thing is, the moment I made that decision, things started moving, things started setting in motion. And then when I went to that yoga center, I put myself out there. It was scary. I didn't know what to do, but I decided I'd go for it anyway. And I remember the first person who booked in, the first client who I got, and that feeling of, wow, this is amazing. I get to do something that I love doing and I'm getting paid for it and I get to help somebody. Um, so that was the start. But what I found was that the bookings for clients were sporadic. There'd be maybe a few one week and none the next week. And it was really sporadic. And I remember thinking, if I'm going to do this full time, I need to figure out 
how to have a steady flow of clients. I need to do something to put myself out there. So I printed out flyers and I put them into local stores. I put them into the yoga center anywhere I could. And I waited and I waited. And because I was in the energy of, I want more clients, I was in the energy of lack and struggle. And I didn't know at the time that I could call in my clients energetically, but the, your outer reality is a mirror of your inner reality. And if on the inside, because I was focused on the lack of clients and wanting more consistent clients, the universe, the outside world had to reflect back to me the lack of clients and the inconsistency because that's what I held within. So the mirror had to reflect back what was within. So I learned the hard way and I have so much compassion for that version of me, that person who is trying her best and doing all the things and trying to get, get it right. And I suppose in hindsight, instead of focusing on the clients or the lack of them, I could have focused on how many people can I help, not how many clients can I get. Do you see the difference between those two sentences? Do you feel that energetic shift? How many people can I help is a giving energy. It's the energy of giving to somebody what they need. How many clients can I get is a taking energy. And people feel that there's such a difference between the two. So if you're thinking of going down this path and creating your soul led business, of course, you want clients, of course, you want to receive money for your great work. But you also want to be in the right energy, or maybe you've already started on that path and you're stuck in that taking energy and you're not seeing the clients and you're thinking, well, what am I doing wrong? And that's okay. There's a reason why you're there. And I was there too. And it is a learning process. So begin to ask yourself, how many people can I help? And do this every day without any expectation. Just be in that energy of helping and giving and the people will show up in their droves. And it may show up at first in a way that you're not expecting. Maybe you'll be out and you'll have to help, I don't know, a woman or an old lady or a child or somebody to cross the street. I don't know, a silly example, but it may be that the universe gives you people to help before it gives you those clients, or it may be that they just show up immediately. But once you're in the energy of how can I help, how many people can I help without any expectation, then things will start to shift. And I know this because I've experienced it for myself. So in January, I'm going to be teaching a course about creating your soul led business. And it goes deep into everything I've learned over the years. I'm going to share it all with you. And it's something that I'm really passionate about because I think there are so many people out there who can help others, energy healers, uh, life coaches, uh, people who are working in this soul aligned energy, holistic practitioners. And if you can help more people, then more people can benefit from the great work that you're doing. So in the meantime, if you haven't already experienced my guided meditation, it's called Magnetize Your Dream Clients, go and get it. It is so good. I'll leave a link below and it's still available for free. So you can download it and experience it for free. So I'll leave that link below. So remember to shift into that giving energy and watch what happens when you do. Watch as things begin to turn around for you. And you may get ideas, things might pop into your head that you hadn't thought of before, ways you can get started or ways that you can progress on your path to your soul aligned business. So I'll be talking more about this in my next episode. Subscribe if you haven't already so you get the updates for when the episodes come out and I'll see you then. Bye bye.